Hi, this is Amy Baudet at the Altice store. Just want to go over a few different features on one of our differential temperature controllers for solar water heating. Now, this is a Steca TR301, also known as the Sun Earth TR301. Now this has three different inputs for sensors so that you can measure the temperature at the top of the collector, the output of the collector, the bottom of the storage tank, and the top of the storage tank. A very, very important thing to note about the Steca is it has a 1K ohm sensor. Now most other brands have a 10K ohm sensor, so be very, very careful. Make sure you get a 1K ohm sensor with this controller. 10K will not work with this. You'll get all kinds of weird readings. Nice thing with this is it has a, a uh, display that shows you the temperatures and it's got a little picture on it that actively shows you what's going on. It will show you when the pump is on versus when the pump is off. If there's any overrides that have, have occurred, it will illum illuminate that warning and show you what exactly is going on. It has a set differential temperature, so it will automatically turn on the pump when the collector is 16 degrees hotter than the storage tank. It will turn it off when that difference reaches 8 degrees. Some other controllers are variable speed. This one is not. That is a set temperature. It also has several different overheat protections. It will turn off the pump when the bottom of the storage tank reaches whatever the set temperature is. The default is 140 degrees. You can change that. So this allows you to protect against the tank getting too hot. It also will protect the pump if the collector gets to be too hot, if it gets to be up to 266 degrees Fahrenheit, right around the boiling point, it will turn off the pump as well to prevent that scalding hot water from going in and damaging, potentially damaging the pump. It will turn back on once it reaches 261 degrees, a, a safe temperature. Um, there's also a vacation or holiday mode what this does is if you're going away for a while in the summer and no one's going to be using the heat, what you can do is turn this mode on and it will measure the temperature of the tank. Now when the tank has to be a certain temperature, it will turn on the pump when the collector is cooler. Now what this does is it will actually run the water through the cooler collector, dissipating some of the heat into the sky. This usually happens at night really nice way to keep the system from overheating during vacations when you're not using it. Um, it also has some freeze protection options. If you have a system that, uh, that is a direct system so that you've got your water directly going through it, it will turn on the pump when the collector reaches 41 degrees. This will put hot water going through the collector and will help prevent freezing. It also has another feature worth mentioning. If you're using it for an evacuated tube system, a lot of times the sensors don't have a way to actually go in and really measure the temperature of the water in the evacuated tube. And one of the nice things about the evacuated tubes is they're so well insulated, you're not going to be getting an accurate reading outside of it. So what you do is you put the sensor on the output of the, the piping, and if you turn on the evacuated tube feature, Every 30 minutes, it will turn the pump on for 30 seconds and get that water circulating through. So it'll take a quick reading so that you're able to see what the actual temperature is in the collector and then it'll be able to determine whether or not to turn the pump on for good. So that's just a few different features in the, the Steca TR301. Thanks so much.